Imagine for me, if you could, that you have died. You were buried, and the questioning has happened. And the angels tell you that you have more good deeds than bad deeds. And you rejoice, and you're very, very happy. And you think that you've made it after a very difficult life and going through all the trials and tribulations you think you've made it you're told you'll be going to Jannah and a window from Jannah is opened you're the happiest person in the world but as you step forward you're stopped and you're told that actually you have more bad deeds than good deeds now. And you're very confused and surprised because angels don't make mistakes. So what's going on? Then it's explained to you that actually because you left behind in the world some sinful content could be online, it could be on your channel, it could be on social media. And that sinful content is being watched by somebody right now. And they're getting the sins for it, but you too are also getting your full share of the sins. Because you created the content. And for that reason, your sins are increasing, even when you're dead. So now you're told that you'll be going to hell first and spending time in hell for Allah knows how long and then you'll be going to Jannah later. The message I'm trying to give everybody here is that just like we have Sadaqa Jariya which means ongoing charity charity that continues even after you've passed away the same way we have gunahi jariya too, sins that carry on. So be careful what you post online. And don't just get carried away with the views and the likes. Because you might end up paying the price for longer than you expected. <laughs>